So if you have a guy that can go five or six at the start of a game and control the outcome of the game from the first pitch, you want that guy. That guy has more value than the three-inning reliever that you would only choose to toss in the game if the game was on the line. If the game was a tie or within a run or in a crucial situation or you're up a run, that pitcher as a starter can actually create that opportunity for you that you otherwise may not have had. It's just not a real role in the game today for th- for any for there to be a three inning reliever. It just it, it's rare. College schedules allow for different usages. Heck, Tim Lincecum, among others, among many many others, would start on Friday and sometimes close on Sunday. Not that I like that usage, but th- they made it work. In Major League Baseball, there are 26 man rosters, and they shove 162 games into 182 days. And they're really shoving 162 games into about 176 days, 177 days because of the All Star break. It's actually more valuable to use two pitchers for like nine outs or even three pitchers for nine outs and have all three available again the next day than cancel out an entire arm for essentially the rest of the week. So that's number one. Number two, even if we conjured up a scenario where a pitcher could go three innings out of the pen, twice per week, pretty much every week. The value of that versus starting the game and doing that, doing it for five or six innings at the start and controlling the potential outcome in a positive manner will never match up in favor of the reliever. On top of that, starters are more predictable than relievers by nature. They pitch in a more controlled environment. It's okay if they go five innings and give up two runs or go six innings and give up two runs. That reliever cannot give up two runs. Starters have more control over the wins and the losses. If a dom if a dominant starter gets the knot and can go six or seven and be he would be the single greatest reason the team won or lost the game. And if you have a good one, a lot more often than not, he's gonna be the reason you won a game. A reliever is reliant very much on the performance of the starter or the other relievers that performed ahead of him and the team's bats staying in the game and ultimately winning the game. The idea is to win the game. So it's still very much better, more valuable to have a five or six inning starter than it is to have a reliever, even if we assume that guy could actually pitch six innings a week. Because when he blows up, because he's not going to be perfect, we're not talking about guys throwing out 0.5 ERAs and, you know, guys, even good relievers are giving up three runs per nine, two and a half runs per nine, two runs per nine. When they blow up, you probably lose that game. If the starter gives up a two-run shot in the third, you're not necessarily winning, losing that game. And he still has a chance to be the single biggest reason why you won that game. Hey, it's Jason Churchill. To get the full episode, as well as every other episode of the podcast, Past and Future, subscribe for as little as $5 per month by going to bit.ly slash get the pod. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash get the pod, all one word, a link you can also find on my Twitter profile. Hey, thanks for checking out Baseball Things.